Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, day two of online school. We'll begin our day with a moment of silence. As we prepare for a moment of silence, we remember that we are in the holy presence of God and of one another. We quiet our bodies and our minds to listen for what silence may teach us, to be still and to know that God is here. And as we continue our day, let us remember what peace there may be in silence. I hope your first day of online school went very smoothly for you. Remember to keep a positive attitude and remember to reach out for help. We will get through this together. I have a couple of notes from teachers that I heard about yesterday that I'd like to share with you. Number one, if you need to get materials for classwork, you may come into school. Please check in at the front entrance and then check out again after you've picked up what you need from your locker. Your physical education teachers are concerned about assignments not getting turned in yesterday. Physical activity is, is important more now than ever, so get those activity assignments turned in. I also had many positive comments from your teachers regarding your hard work. They asked me to give you positive feedback about your persistence when the tech wasn't working quite right for Ed Puzzle and some other things. So keep up the good work. Hey, that's pretty good. A couple other announcements. We have had some issues with parents' emails and students' emails not getting to them in a timely manner when they come through Infinite Campus. Sometimes these emails will go directly to your junk mail because they come from a do not respond email on our end. So we, ask, we have asked teachers to communicate with all of you through multiple platforms to try and make sure that you're up to date. But please also check your junk mail on a daily basis. And students, share your weekly updates with your parents in case they don't get the emails in a timely fashion. One more announcement. The Dungeons and Dragons Club is reopening online for members and newcomers alike. This will take place online Wednesday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Members should look in the Google Classroom for more info and new newcomers, you should contact Mr. Hodeck through email. Remember to only check in with your first hour teacher one time. More than once can be irritating for that teacher, which you do not want to do the first week of online school. Just check in once. Weather forecast for today, it should be partly cloudy, partly to mostly cloudy with a high of 56 degrees and a low of 40 degrees overnight. Should still be a great day to get outside and get some exercise and fresh air. We have two eighth graders with birthdays today. Please reach out to Celia Gibson in eighth grade and Dynasty Mackey in eighth grade. Wish these two gals a happy birthday. The word of the day comes from Mr. Pulse. The word of the day is confluence, which means a coming together or flowing together. Hillmary's confluence may be found in inline school. This day in history, March 31st, 1889, the Eiffel Tower opened in Paris. The Eiffel Tower was the tallest man-made structure for 41 years. In 1918, the first daylight savings time went into effect in the United States. In 1932, Ford unveiled the first V8 engine. In 1948, the U.S. Congress passed the Marshall Aid Act in order to help rehabilitate war-torn Europe. And in 1949, Newfoundland became Canada's 10th province. Your trivia question for today is in what month does Flag Day celebrate the adoption of the flag of the United States? You can email me with that answer if you'd like. Quote of the day comes from Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction that you choose. One more thing I'd like you to keep in mind, we would like to start a collection of YouTube videos that show our students sharing good news. If you would like to do a video that depicts good news and send it to me or Mr. Ballantyne, we will use them in the daily announcements. Remember, 
Only something that it's okay for your grandparents to see and hear is acceptable for videos for the announcements. Remember to tune in for the Ministry Minute at 2.30 p.m. this afternoon. Hope you have a great day. That's it for announcements.